Hi everybody again. Uh, again, uh, some tips about time lapse, and uh, some fans uh, ask me how I produced the Stellar Trails time lapse. So I'm going to explain you this now. Uh, different ways to elaborate and process uh, the same uh, data set. So basically, uh, the same uh, set of images of the stars, just processed in different ways. As I, you've seen in the previous uh, time lapse explanation video, just a short reminder what I have in my hands. I have uh, 331 images of the dark night sky taken consecutively one after the other. The exposure time is 30 seconds and the gap between the different exposures is 10 seconds. I put this large gap in the uh, intervalometer because I wanted to be sure that uh, the camera had time to write on the SD card the whole image. And now I'm going to tell you how to produce uh, the trails. The point is that you have to combine the images with each other, blending them together, so it's, it's a stack of images, using the lighting mode. What is the lighting mode? This means that you are not simply summing the images, otherwise in the end you will have only something completely white, too much light coming from all the images together, but you're only adding to the first, second and so on image only those pixels that come from the next image that are brighter than the previous one, okay? So if the images are taken all in the same position, they are all identical as background and so on, some pixels are brighter because the star is moved. And you add only the, the brighter pixels. In my case, you have seen also the telescope is moving because we were observing at that time, the, some clouds, uh, galactic clouds, or uh, galaxies and so on. And so this means that also the telescope is creating a movement there and in your stack also the different positions of the telescope will produce with the lighting mode uh, brighter pixels and they will all make a bit of uh, confusion there. Normally with the star trails there is no nothing move, moving in the frame, in the background or foreground and so it's uh, uh, this effect you will not see. If you have something move, moving you will see this effect. How to do this job? You can do it for example with Photoshop, you can do it with GIMP. Photoshop is very expensive, I cannot uh, afford it. With GIMP I don't want it but do it by hand, uh, one image of the other. So I discovered a very cool tool that is called Star Stacks, all right? Star Stacks was developed by Markus Enzweiler in Germany and he's a very cool guy. I had some questions for him. He answered, I wrote an email. He answered me immediately. This software is a freeware and it was designed exactly to produce uh, star trails, basically. Um, so he's evidently an astrophotographer uh, or an amateur astronomer. I'm going to show you exactly how it works in a few seconds, and I will show you the result of different options. Enjoy this video, and uh, I hope it's going to be useful for you. On the left, uh, you have uh, star stacks, and on the right, my directory with all the frames. Using it is extremely, extremely uh, easy. So I will have, first of all, to give to star stacks all the frames that I have. For example, in my case, there are these 331 frames. I will just have to drag them and copy them in this input. Relending mode is going to be lightened, as I told you. Okay, There are different other possibilities for different effects or to work in different kind of images. And then I would like to save after each step. What it does at each image is, is it is blending and accumulating all the previous images. That's why I call it cumulative uh, stacking. All right. And so we tell it to save it after each step. Here we need to give it uh, the, the, the name of the, uh, the output name, and I would like to call it start stacks. Okay, image and stop. It will, this is basically the root of your file name of the output. Star stacks will add uh, the number of the frame that it saves. Start at zero, no, uh, just for convenience, I would like to start with my first 
number, which is again 5964. Right? In this way, I know the very well, uh, directly, so to say, the uh, connection between my input and my output. If you call it from zero, and that's some kind of mess. And then I would like to decide where to save. I can save um, the files in the same directory where I had the input. Anyway, the file name is different. They will, the input will not be overwritten. Or I can choose another directory. I can create a directory ad hoc and so on. I will just keep the same just to keep everything there. And then uh, that's all. We can simply uh, click on this button that you see is start processing and it will process all the images one after the other blending them with everything that is coming before. In fact I believe he is smarter than that and then basically he blends the results to the next step by step. You see now there is a progress bar here and when it will be finished it will tell us that everything is ready. There we go. It has finished to process the images and to produce these blended or cumulative stack images. Now, we can see in my directory here, there are all the images, star stacks, uh, image, and blah, blah. Now be careful because we have not produced any time lapse yet. This is just uh, the set of stacked, cumulatively stacked images, all right? Now we have to, we just close the star stack, star stacks, and we are going to combine all these images into the timeline lapse, in just like we did uh, before. But now instead of using the original ones, we are going to use those with the trails. And you will see what happens. We use again FFmpeg, as I showed you in the other video. Now we use uh, the same. Uh, FFMP, FF, FFM, oh here, FFMPEG command that I showed you in the other uh, video. So main frame, frame rate, again, we're going to use 20 frames per second. Start number is 5964, as usual. Now, the root of the images is a bit different than before, and it's called we have it there and it's called star stacks image okay so it's a four uh, then zero four d dot jpg as, as explained in the previous video please head go and take a look this means uh, that is four digits so starting with zero when there is nothing then again the size of the image is going to be 6,000 times 4,000 which is the original size and then uh, the library codec 264 uh, compression rate 17 which is a good compromise pix format uh, we use this uh, that I found online, it seems me okay, and then uh, time lapse trace test dot mp4, and then we can start. Uh, sorry, <laughs> this happened everywhere to everyone and then it starts processing and we will see the result uh, soon. Uh, while the FFmpeg is uh, processing and producing the time-lapse, I would also like to show you alternative uh, options in star, star stacks. In addition to save each other step, this comet mode. Comet mode adds uh, a bit of uh, effect in the uh, trails. So basically, is it is a uh, fading down the oldest frames that are in the trail. All right. So this means that the length of the trail will not uh, increase uh, indefinitely, but at some point it will have uh, when it has accumulated enough frames, it will start deleting, actually fading away, the oldest frames that is are in the accumulation. Right. So the the 
this, pro this uh, produces a trail of fixed length that is moving together with the rotation of the sky. The comet mode has the possibility to change the length of the trail, of the comet tail, so to say, and uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being the maximum length and 1 being, being the minimum length, and 5 being something um, in between. Marcus, the developer, explained me that uh, here this is not uh, exactly a linear process. So you will have to play a bit with uh, your setup, so the, the length that you, that you set, to reach uh, the uh, result that you wish. All right? So I'm going to show you the results of the, the normal time lapse, then the time lapse with trails uh, without any comet option, and then the two comet options with, uh, let's say, an intermediate length of 5 out of 10 and the full length 10 of 10. I hope this video was uh, useful for you and I hope you will enjoy what you see in a few seconds and have fun with uh, astrophotography, and night sky, uh, star trails and time lapses. Please leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you like uh, my contents. Bye bye, have fun!